Lego bricks are being put to use in some seriously cool ways. In fact, some people have been so successful at creating Lego sculptures, it has become their profession. While some of the individual sculptures are amazing for their pure scale, some of these brick builders have created entire collections which are admired for their true artistic merit. So, join me as I count down the 20 most amazing Lego sculptures and collections. Amazing! Number 20. Eric Harshbarger's Lego Paintings Professional Lego mosaic builder Eric Harshbarger creates replicas of famous artworks in Lego. Harshbarger's largest Mona Lisa mosaic required more than 30,000 bricks to create and stands at 6 feet wide by 8 feet tall. Commissioned to be a wall hanging, this work of art amazingly used only 6 classic Lego colours. Harshbarger has created three different versions of the Mona Lisa, as well as a more recent mosaic of Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. Due to the ever-expanding selection of LEGO's colour palette, Harshbarger was able to use a whopping 21 different colours to achieve the delicate shading. Number 19. Human Sculptures by Nathan Sawaya Nathan Sawaya's human sculptures are truly works of art. Each piece takes several days to create and begins as a drawing. His most well-known piece, Yellow, is an artistic expression of his adventurous career move from the corporate world to a brick artist. Yellow was made with 11,014 bricks. Another sculpture, Grasp, stands at a lifelike 67 inches tall. It also represents his changing careers, specifically about overcoming the negativity of people who believed he was making a mistake. Another cool one, named Underneath, is a startling sculpture which shows a man peeling off his own face. Nathan's works enthrall adults and children alike. Adults connect with the emotions of the figures and children tend to connect with the medium and sometimes visceral aspects of the sculptures. Finally, this one called Rebirth of New Orleans was specifically commissioned for the celebration of the rebirth of the city after Hurricane Katrina. Using over 120,000 blocks, this sculpture took him six weeks to create. They're truly amazing works of art. I'm sure you'll agree. Number 18. Legoland swaps Volvo car. Who doesn't love a good prank? In 2011, the general manager of Legoland California, Peter Rochetti, was astounded to find his parked Volvo had been replaced by a life-sized Lego replica made of more than 200,000 Lego bricks, weighing 2,934 pounds. The pranksters from the model shop team had to use a forklift to put the Lego car in place. They came up with the idea after realizing the model car they were restoring bore a strong resemblance to Peter's Volvo. Surprisingly, the hardest part wasn't avoiding stepping on one of those Lego bricks, but distracting him while they made the swap. Number 17, Tower Bridge Lego Sculpture. The Tower Bridge replica made for Land Rover holds the world record for the largest Lego sculpture with the most bricks. Created for the launch of their new Discovery vehicle, the replica contains an incredible 5,805,846 blocks. In fact, if each block is laid out in a line, it would stretch from the actual Tower Bridge in London all the way to Paris. This imaginative use of Lego stands at 13 meters tall. Number 16. Futuristic Map of Japan This map of Japan was the result of 5,000 Japanese students collaborating in six different workshops. Project Build Up Japan was sponsored by LEGO to celebrate LEGO's 50-year presence in Japan. Amazingly, the work isn't an exact replica, but instead a look into a possible future for the topography of the Japanese islands. The map is an overwhelming 82 feet long. Number 15. Mike Doyle's Amazing Lego Houses Man is no match for nature. Mike Doyle's abandoned houses are a portrayal of nature's destructive power. These abandoned Victorian houses are astounding in their level of intricacy. My personal favourite in his seriously spooky series is the three-storey Victorian with tree. This creation took 450 hours to build. The tree and its roots are constructed with pure Lego and it's mind-blowing that no other foreign materials are used. Number 14. Kinetic Sculptures by JK Brickworks Want to be even more amazed by LEGO sculptures? Check out these Kinetic Sculptures by JK Brickworks. This one is designed to stimulate the fluid movements made by a real horse. The detail was pretty amazing, like that slight forward thrust of the horse's head. 
A series of levers and links control the movement of the horse. Another awesome one is this kinetic sculpture of Sisyphus and is astounding in its representation of him endlessly pushing his boulder. It has both motorized and manual operations. The three points at which movement is directed are the legs, the body and the boulder. Between the rocking of the body and the boulder, this causes the arms to bend and make it look like he's really pushing the boulder. Number 13. Legoland Windsor Pharaoh. Can you believe the Lego Egyptian Pharaoh of Legoland Windsor weighs more than one ton? It also consists of over 200,000 Lego bricks. That's a lot of Lego bricks to try not to step on. You can experience the wonder of this pharaoh now that it's arrived at its Windsor destination after traveling all the way from where it was made in the Czech Republic. As well as being transported by truck, it was even floated down the Thames. Now that's a grand entrance. Number 12, Lego statue of Jesus Christ. Based on the 19th century work Christus, this Lego sculpture was used to mark Easter in 2009 at a Swedish church. 30,000 of the blocks came from the church's own congression to create the sculpture, which stands at 5.8 foot tall. Although it has a completely white exterior, the inside blocks are multicolored. The depiction of the resurrection of Christ is now a permanent installation at the Oensta Greiter Church. Number 11, Lego Boardroom Table. Something we haven't seen yet in this video of amazing Lego sculptures is Lego furniture. Well, look no further, for this is a piece of Lego furniture to behold. As part of the transformation of a Georgian house into a company's headquarters, ABGC Architects also created this boardroom table for the boys and girls advertising agency. Under the surface of toughened glass is where the beauty lies, 22,742 Lego bricks made into a tabletop, which even includes the embedded company logo. Over 8,000 photos were taken during the making and installation of this Lego boardroom table. Number 10, Abston Church of Christ by Amy Hughes. If you're impressed by detail, you'll be impressed by this one. It features intricacies like an organ player and nearly 4,000 windows. At seven foot tall, even Amy's cat took a shine to this architectural Lego marvel. The church took a year and a half to plan and build, and looking at how amazing it is, I would say it's well worth the time spent. Number nine, Kennedy Space Center at Legoland, Florida. For a Lego sculpture that is truly masterful, you can't look past the Lego Kennedy Space Center. Complete with crew for the six foot tall space shuttle, the entire center features 750,000 Lego bricks. It's difficult to comprehend the scale. The lucky visitors to Legoland Florida Resort can see it for themselves and appreciate the 2,500 hours of labor that went into building this gigantic marvel. Number eight, Lego Football Ground. Another Lego sculpture that can compete with the Lego Kennedy Space Center is this Allianz Arena Lego Stadium. It can even be lit from within like the real Allianz Arena. This creation was built from the architectural drawings of the real stadium. 4,209 man hours and over 1 million bricks went into the construction of this amazing sculpture. Number seven, Arthur Gujic's Lenticular Images. Arthur Gujic specializes in amazing lenticular Lego creations, featuring themes from pop culture. Often the characters are enemies, like this mosaic of the villain the Joker and hero Batman. Or how about this? I bet you'd never thought you'd see the day that Wile E. Coyote turns into Roadrunner. Arthur has created other childhood favorites, like this mosaic of Eeyore and Piglet turning into Tigger. Or how about this? an amazing transformation of Darth Vader into Anakin Skywalker. It's pretty impressive. I'm amazed at the skill that must be required to make these, and I'm sure it helps that Arthur is a maths teacher. Number six, USS Intrepid. One of the largest Lego ships ever built is the USS Intrepid replica. It's been reproduced at a scale of one to 40 of the original World War II US Navy aircraft carrier. Lego artist and enthusiast, Ed Dement, was so impressed with his visit to the real Intrepid that he had to build one and used 250,000 pieces to create this 22 foot long Lego ship. This aircraft carrier replica features insane details down to the life rafts, crew, moving gun turrets and a working lift to the main deck. With the immense detail Ed has used, I'm not surprised it took 600 hours to create. Number five, Animals by Sean Kenny. 
Sean Kenny's exhibit of beautiful Lego sculptures, Nature Connects, features animals of all shapes and sizes. One of the most intricate sculptures by Sean Kenny, the peacock, is truly a three-dimensional wonder, with perfectly designed feathers visible from both the front and back. He even built two identical versions at once. He clearly likes a challenge. The jeweled chameleon was created atop its own Lego tree branch. The texture and vibrancy of the tiny flecks of colour give this 5.5 foot tall sculpture its wow factor. His other work, the bison, even comes with added cuteness of a baby bison and a bird hitching a ride on his back. He's even recreated the visible bond of love between a mother and baby polar bear. This one, named Polar Bear Mother and Her Cubs, is the largest sculpture by him, weighing 625 pounds and took approximately 125,000 Lego bricks to create. It does a great job of displaying the vulnerability and playfulness of the cubs. Another one of his creations, the majestic lion sculpture, is larger than life size. Even the eyes and whiskers of the lion are pieces from Lego sets, using radar dishes for eyes and fiber optic lengths of space sets for the whiskers. A very imaginative use of Lego, that's for sure. Number four, tallest Lego tower. Can you believe the tallest Lego tower was built by thousands of Italian children? It reaches an incredible 114 feet. This structure achieved a new Guinness World Record title after the five fun-filled days it took to build it. It's so tall that the last brick had to be added to the tower with the use of a crane. Number three, Lego house. The story of James May's Lego house is both amazing and a little sad. The fully functioning two-story house used more than 3.3 million Lego pieces. Although, when I say fully functional, I wouldn't actually recommend sleeping on the bed or walking barefoot. Before you get excited about visiting the house, which was built in Surrey, know that it no longer exists. The house was intended to be sold. Unfortunately, with no buyers for the house, James May arranged for its demolition in 2009. I can't believe all that hard work ended up being destroyed. Number 2. X-Wing Fighter Jet The X-Wing Fighter Jet built by LEGO is a 1 to 1 scale model of the Star Wars aircraft. 35 builders constructed it with 5,335,200 bricks. The scale is truly astonishing. Complete with R2-D2, it weighs nearly 46,000 pounds, with a wingspan of 44 feet. But aside from the scale of the X-Wing, you'll be astonished to know that the engines can light up and actually roar. The cockpit is big enough for you to step inside and sit down, as if you were Luke Skywalker himself. Imagine that. Number 1. Magic Angle Sculptures by John Munteen Thought you'd seen everything that could be done with Lego? Think again. John Munteen makes Lego sculptures that are actually shadow art. The Magic Angle Sculptures use the addition of light and movements to cast changing shadows from the Lego sculptures. For instance, this sculpture, which transforms a shadow from a fire-breathing dragon to a butterfly and then to a jet. His sculptures are of scientific experimentation and a somewhat philosophical exploration of perspective. And that is why Magic Angle Sculptures is my choice for the most amazing Lego sculpture. They just go deeper than the typical aesthetic novelty of a normal Lego sculpture. What type of sculpture would you make if you had enough Lego at home? Also, which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe as we'll be making more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.